Hello and welcome to another Dusty Hue Tips and Tricks video. This is going to be a short one. We're just going to take a quick look at one of the new features in release 0 0.5, which is the ability to generate uh, proxy meshes out of uh, material slots that we've defined on the material node. Uh, these proxy meshes can be used for cloth simulation in Unreal Engine 5. So this is the character we're going to be working with. It's a Genesis 8.1 figure. Uh, and I've already created the materials for the body, so we just have to work with the dress. So the first thing I'll do is create a new material. I'll call it dress. And in here we'll assign the parts of the dress that we don't want uh, to simulate in Unreal Engine. Uh, so the bodice, bottom, mid, top. Uh, the sleeves, and so all we have left now is the skirt, which is from uh, this line down. Um, so we can visualize that just by selecting the skirt under the isolate options. So this is the part that we will simulate. So I'll clear that. Now I'll just create another material slot with just that uh, skirt. So what we can do now under the skirt material is tick this create proxy mesh. What that'll do is create by default a very low poly uh, proxy mesh for the skirt in this case. Uh, and the easiest way to sort of uh, visualize that as you're working with it is to just isolate it. So under this isolate option, under FBX material name attribute, we can select this skirt proxy. Now there's two controls we have that govern the, uh, I guess, the topology of this proxy mesh. This top one, edge percent to keep, uh, deals with the number of points uh, on the open edges. So there's two here. There's one at the top and one at the bottom, and the target triangle size occurs after that uh, and it will do just that. It will attempt to create uh, equal size triangles uh, in between these edges. Uh, I did try to get it all just to one slider but uh, they are two different um, nodes in Houdini, uh, one dealing with this open edge and one dealing with the triangle density inside so hence why there's two sliders. Uh, and it's a it's really a balance of, between both of them. So if we increase this edge percent to keep, we will get more points on the open edges, and therefore they'll follow the shape of the source geometry more. Um, but that comes at the expense of uh, creating these uh, long triangles between the inner part of the mesh and the edges. So what we really want to try and do is balance these two sliders out so that we get more or less uniform triangles across the entire mesh, including these ones that go to the edges. So we'll keep the edge percent to keep fairly low. And if I reduce the target triangle size, we'll start to get more mesh density in the middle. Just as a, a side note, uh, the more polygons we have, uh, on the mesh when it comes to simulating an Unreal Engine, the more the fabric will behave like a lighter fabric. So if you've got a very high triangle count, the fabric will simulate like silk, whereas if you have a lower triangle count, it will behave more like you know, leather or anything in between. So uh, the actual Triangle density does make a big difference to the final simulation result, I found. So that's really it. Uh, just these two sliders to play with. Uh, at the moment, the proxy mesh will stay visible throughout the entire workflow. Uh, one important thing to point out is if we go to the comparison view, our point counts no longer match. Um, this is something I'll work on uh, for a future release to try and uh, display the point counts that really matter because the proxy mesh is only created on the FBX 
geometry. It's not created on the alambic geometry. Uh, it's not suitable for things like the ML deformer workflow, for example. We only really need it on the FBX side of things. So even though the point counts don't match as far as this visual uh, representation at the top here goes, um, it shouldn't cause any problems. As long as your point counts matched before the material node, uh, we're not really adding and removing points to the geometry after the material node. The proxy meshes themselves are excluded from any corrective morph generation. Uh, so as long as the default view on the pose asset node looks like it should, so you're not seeing the mess, uh, the mesh explode or have crazy green lines everywhere, you'll know it when you see it. If something you know, isn't right, then uh, you shouldn't have any problems. So that's it for this crash course in the new proxy mesh generation features in release 0 0.5. I'm not going to go through how you actually use them in Unreal Engine. There's plenty of videos online around cloth simulation for Unreal Engine 5. So feel free to look some of those up if you're unsure how to actually use these proxy meshes. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.